Mike Robley with Xperia Group, general contracting waterproofing consultant, and we're conducting air and water infiltration testing. For window testing, first thing we're gonna do, we're, we're obviously we're gonna document everything. And so I always take a picture of what room I'm in, which this one happens to be C506. And then I take a, a, a overview of the, the specimen, as it's called. And I get my, uh, my measurements, which is five oh five feet by three foot six. We check to make sure everything's working. The ASTM has in, has us opening and closing this thing and locking it five times. And then I just, I'm gonna kind of document what I see in the, the corners, not necessarily taking uh, pictures of every little speck, but anything that might be a little bit different. You know, it's the way, the way it's set up is that you wanna have um, the, either the Contractor, developer, window guy, whoever's hired us are the ones that are, are specifying which windows. So they gave us a list of windows to test. I came through the other day and looked at them to make sure that they were ready, they were prepped and ready to go. And this, this is one of the windows. They have, on this particular job, I think there's five different window types. So they want to try and test one of each window. Uh, we've tested a similar window to this. Um, before and everything's passed. We tested another window earlier today, which was smaller and everything passed, which is both air and water infiltration. We document everything. We, we draw everything out for the specimen to make sure that that's part of it. That's required as part of the ASTM um, E1105 reporting. So that's why we're taking pictures. We draw it out. This was a chamber we built a while back, so it stayed on the job site and got a little dirty. As long as we can see through it, everything's fine. So this is the, uh, this is the chamber. Basically what we're trying to do is all, every window that's ever been made has been tested in a laboratory against differential pressure within, against the window, so that means if you're in a conditioned building or anything else, you're gonna have a different pressure on the outside than the inside. So what we do is we build a chamber to simulate that in the field, and we test it at two thirds of the rate that it's tested at in the laboratory. So we build these chambers, it's just a wood frame with clear vinyl over it, um, all sealed up. We'll mount that to the wall. We use our um, pump, which isn't here yet to draw air against the, the window, basically creating a vacuum inside of there while the water is being sprayed against the window to see if we draw a window through it or draw water through it. If water does come through it, it can spill over here. So these windows are rated to a specific pounds per square foot of air pulling against the window, which is equal to this height here. So this height is about an inch and three eighths. So if we're pulling, there's a, there's a, if we're pulling enough water against the window to pull, or pull enough air against the window to raise the water up and spill over it, then that window fails. But these windows are tested to a point where the water can rise up to below that point and everything is fine. So the idea is we pull against it, water builds up inside of there, it doesn't spill over, window passes, it does spill over, it's a failure. So these windows are rated at, um, for water infiltration at three pounds 
uh, 3.75 pounds per square foot of air pulling against it, which is equal to inches of water, which is what we measure. So the inches of water, 3.75 is equal to 0.72 inches of water. So just below three quarters of an inch. So that was an inch and three eighths. So if the water comes up three quarters of an inch, it's not gonna go anywhere and it's fine. We like to use, we, the idea is to put, mount this chamber to the wall. We like to use a little spray adhesive, make everything stick better. And miles and miles of vinyl tape. Brian, you want to grab one side of this? So like I said, we get this thing sealed to the wall, so we're just testing the window itself. On, on wood frame or steel framed walls, it's a little bit different, but this, this, one, this one's concrete, so it actually makes it a little bit easier. You can, it's not going to go anywhere. This is our, our instrument for measuring uh, both airflow and, as I was mentioning earlier, the pounds per square foot against the, the window. So this, is, this gauge is showing the inches of water. So like I said, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, up to, to one inch of water. That's what the water will raise up inside the chamber, inside that window once we apply it. And then this, this gauge is measuring the, um, the airflow. Um, so we'll, this is what we're going to do first. We're going to hook up our pump. We're going to pull air against it once, when we have the outside of the window masked off with visqueen so that we're not pulling air through it right now. Take a measurement of it, pull all the visqueen off, take another measurement and whatever that difference is is what the airflow is on the window. These particular windows are rated to withstand uh, 0.22 CFM per square foot on the, uh, on the window. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So this has got an internal pump to it. It's gonna suck air. We, we're gonna pull the air. The air is getting exhausted through here. We're gonna pull the air, it blows out through there, through the gauge. The gauge will raise up and then that goes to, to the chamber. So for this test, we want to have it at 0.3 inches of water, which is what this gauge is measuring.
The allowable on this particular window is 0.22 CFM. We tested it with the visqueen on, we had 3 CFM. We pulled the visqueen off, it went up to 3.8 CFM, both with the pressure against the window at 1.75 pounds per square foot which is equal to 0 0.08, which is completely within the allowable area of the, uh, of the window. So this is a pass for the air infiltration. Now we'll move on and do the water. For our particular spray rack, which Sean's setting up right now, mm -hmm. those have to be calibrated every six months. And our particular spray rack is calibrated so that it runs 11, 11 PSI of water, 22 inches away from the window which for the ASTM is equal to five gallons of water per hour per square foot. It's so basically sure. Miami. So we're, like I said earlier, we're pulling air against the window assembly, which includes how it's installed um, at 3.75 pounds per square foot against the window with our uh, calibrated spray rack. So basically all we're looking for right now is water. We see water coming in either on the window assembly, um, through the glazing, the, 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 around the glass itself. We might see it down on the concrete. Um, this piece around the outside is just a trim piece, so it may come from underneath that or on the jams. But if anything happens, more than likely, it would either spill over the, the back side of the, the back dam, because maybe there's a, there's a clogged weep hole, there's no way for the window to drain or there's something wrong with the actual way they installed the glass into the frame, or there's a void in the, the sealant outside which is drying the, the water into it.